in this lecture we're going to have a look at the creation of deliveries in the background now this is important because the first thing it does is it actually saves on the manual labor i.e. a user doesn't have to every day go in and run the transaction this saves time and effort yeah because you know what time you're running it a user doesn't need to do it just run it in the background it saves time the second reason is that you can use it to reinforce cutoff times if you say that you're going to run the delivery creation at 4 o'clock then the batch job runs at 4 that means if you create your sales orders after 4 it's not been going to be created uh, sorry you're not going to create a delivery now if it was a user they might create it a little bit later a little bit sooner no you want a human interaction to be minimal in this case and lastly you can use it to enforce some business rules so for example um, you can run the delivery creation for returns at two o'clock yeah or at six o'clock so it takes away the human error factor as well in this video we're going to have a look at why we use the transaction VL10 batch we actually use this transaction to create the deliveries in the background we'll also have a look at something called the F code um, and we're going to use the F code 5001 to do it now it's important because when we look at the normal transaction when we look at if we were to run it using VL10 uh, a B and C if we were to run it in the background you notice that the system actually doesn't create the deliveries and let's have a look why so I'm going to run VL10 normally and as you can see it's a normal screen if I click on the user role you can see here grayed out is a user role 001 and the role 001 means it automatically populates all of these values here it says if it's relevant for sales orders what the layout look like what the rules are for the delivery quantity you can see well it's cumulative etc etc there's lots of options that the role one is the most important of them if this is this F code here and if I click on the F code it's get prepare display there's no create there the one we really want to use is 5001 and it has SAMD which is create without output list so what I really want is the F code 5001 which will cause the system after you execute it to create the deliveries in the background as I said before if you run this with the code 001 with the um, uh, with the profile 001 the system will just display the, the sales orders that need to be created for delivery and that's it yeah you really need the F code to create in order to make the deliveries in the background and as you can see it's grayed out we can't do anything yeah and it's only in 5001 do we have all of the right values here to create the delivery so as I said before the F code here is 001 and yep and we actually that's fine yeah and the delivery creation also you can see here is 001 which means it'll create the deliveries um, when we run the transaction so and as you can see it's grayed out so I can't change it so you see if I go to the F code here I click on maintenance it's grayed out if I click on oops 5001 here which is the delivery list I try to put it in it doesn't work yeah so it cannot be maintained in the VL10 it's all grayed out and that's where the background job comes in so if I run the transaction here the first thing I need to do is create a variant so I go ahead I'll put a variant called new job I'll select all of the screens and I'm creating my variant so I put in my shipping point that I want and the delivery create date as you know like we created before uh, you have the option 1 2 and 3 until 9 and that will choose which kind of date you want and in this case I just want 1 if I press enter now the system auto automatically calculates the delivery date and puts it in if I go then to the next screen you have the option here delivery priority uh, sold to party ship to let's keep on going I want the sales document type OR I keep on going um, 
create by material partner functions now you see in this screen role is not grayed out it's I can do the pull down I can then choose role 5001 I select that I press enter oops let's go back and the system now automatically puts the profile here if I put in if I now select the profile 5001 which is the one I want I press enter now and if I go to the F code oops uh, now let me do that again okay that's perfect right now put in the profile again sorry about this 5001 okay now I have five now if I click on the F code I have the SAMD code which means that the system will create the delivery after you run the transaction you execute it you create the delivery so the next screen is the ATP I'm gonna skip that we're back in our main screen if you ever want to populate or calculate the dates like the goods issue date and so forth this one is when you want to save the variant you have the option to put in a dynamic calculation yeah so let's go back there's actually no save button here but if I go back the system will say do you want to save the values I click yes this is where you actually save it so I put new description there and here is your final chance this is where you will put your date calculation in your variant yeah so for example goods issue date PGI date and so forth picking date if you ever wanted to but let me go on let me save this variant so we can uh, create the job so the variant now has been saved with the job so if I go back to the transaction I have now my variant new job and now let's schedule a job to use this so I click schedule button yep I just set the execution date and I say schedule once and that's it the background job now has been scheduled yep and if I say display scheduling you can see here is the new job and it's as simple as that that's how you do it so if I ran the transaction SM30 to have a look at the background job oops accidentally pressed the log here let me run the transaction SM37 to see the job and as you can see the job has been scheduled it hasn't been released uh, but that's okay um, what I wanted to show you was how I actually created the batch job in the background yeah using the transaction VL 10 batch